Welcome back everyone to Albion Online, and I got a great comment in the last episode that kind of clarified something for me. I was a little perplexed by the fact that I could only have one mission at a time. Apparently, these missions are the tutorial, and when you're done with them, you're done with missions. Like, from that point forward, it's truly sandbox. Wasn't expecting that. I really, I really genuinely wasn't. And I'm kind of intrigued. I think that's actually probably a really smart decision for a game that you're going to push on desktop and mobile. So we're going to dive in. We're going to go through these missions. Don't know how many there are, or how long they'll take. Uh, but here we go. We're going to talk to, who was this again? Flynn. Um, oh, yeah, I clicked on it and then it was like done. Welcome to Albion. What was it that I was supposed to do? Can I abort? Let's abort. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, so let's do it again. There we go. Okay, now that you've made it to Albion, it's up to you to decide what you want to do. Gather resources, craft items, or fight monsters. Objectives. Consider your options. Return to... Oh, so you're just... Oh, ba what? Basic tutorial completed. From this point on, there are only a few optional quests to guide you. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, so I was just supposed to see that pop up. Got it. Okay, complete. So let's look through here. Combat. Combat the basics. We need to finish a royal expedition. Return to royal ambassador. Okay, so combat is my specialty. Though nowadays I tend to let others do the fighting. Okay. So we need to finish a royal expedition. Can I get... There we... Can I get some more clarity on what, <laughs> what that means? Um... I forgot to hide the camera. There we go. Uh, find the Expedition Master and offer your aid. Okay, so I need to find the Expedition Master. Is that going to be... Can I go to... Okay. Oh, oh, it's at the portal. It's the portal uh, right up here. You're the Expedition Master. Okay. Uh, Journeyman's Individual Expeditions. Tier 3, one player... Okay, so it tells me my rewards, daily bonus, bonus received for the first completed expedition per day, average item power, 250. Cool. Oh. Ah, welcome, filthy casual Kyle. Beyond this gate, you will find the heretics, vile traitors who refuse to bow to our king. Even worse, they've begun... Uh, where did that go? Oh, even worse, they've begun to evacuate... Excavate ancient relics of Albion to study them. It keeps moving on me. It is your task to stop them before they discover anything too dangerous. Hurry now. I will keep the portal open for as long as I can. Okay. Okay, no mounting in here. I gotta remember Q, W, E for my attacks. I don't remember what all of them are exactly, but we'll play it as we go. I also had a comment that said something interesting. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's right. That does that. I remember now. Okay. I got a comment that was interesting. It was saying, apparently, it's ideal to... Is that going to hit them? Oh, it did. Good. It's ideal to, like, not have all heavy armor. Like, you you want to have a mixture? I'm going to have to research this some. That's interesting. What was this one again? Enchant up to six... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That enchants your next six shots. I forgot. Does that do a pushback? Knockback, yeah. I'm really digging the music in here. Let's let that recharge. Whoops. Oh, wow. That killed the rats already. All right. Remind me. What is this? Okay. Stone. Stone skin. Turn your skin to stone. 
Rejuvenating sprint. Okay, you sprint and heal. Got it. I've just forgotten what all these do. Uh, when not engaged in combat, this allows you to heal. Got it. Or what that is. Oh, that's nice. I can actually see the map down there, and it's like, it looks like it's like fully explored. Like, I can just basically see the journey I'll be on. Learning point reached. Okay, power through knowledge, know thy foe, defeat mo uh, learning point reached, journey moon plate armor fight. Okay, defeat mobs to increase your reaver tier. Oh, more things achieved. Each tier increases your damage and defense against mobs of that level. Fighting mobs of levels above your own will be very difficult. Got it. I'm a little confused. <laughs> oh, I guess he was like in a in a protected state. So we've got one more deranged poacher to kill, four more deranged fire starters, and one overseer. All my things are on cooldown. Whoops. Didn't give enough time. Just gonna finish him off like this. And then we're ready to... Oh, I wasn't paying attention to the circle at my feet. Oh, I got a healer over here. Need to get him. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm about to die. Uh, stone skin? Stone skin. There we go. And sprint with healing. Checkpoint activated. I'm guessing that's a smart idea. Okay, wait. Since we're, since we're out of combat now, let's do this heal. Okay, got the healer down. Okay, very good. Uh, anything over here? Oh yeah, there's another guy. Alright, how are we on our checklist? We've got one more deranged poacher and then the overseer. Oh. Okay, let's wait for us to heal before we cross the <laughs> cross the swords. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, and that interrupts, so I can interrupt. Oh, I can interrupt the spell casting with the Q spell. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wow. Like that. So he puts down fire totems that I have to run around and avoid. That is really cool. Uh, can I close this? I just look down there and see whatever they're chatting about. I don't... Can we... Oh, auto high. Ch I would like... <laughs> Let's just go to here. That's probably better. Oh, look, it's not even English. Fantastic. <laughs> I never look at chat. I just happen to look down and see a few keywords that I'm like, I don't know where this is going. Let's not have this in my video. <laughs> I'll be honest, this is what I was hoping, this is way more like what I was hoping RuneScape would be like. Like, obviously very different in a lot of ways, but like, in the sense of, go here and then traverse this dungeon, and you know, uh, like, their dungeon crawling was nowhere close to this. Not nearly this, like, engaging. Oh, missed that one. Like the music too. It almost has like a like this is gonna sound weird. It almost has like a Looney Tunes quality to it. I I, I know that sounds weird. Maybe maybe it's more accurate to say it has like a, an an animated Star Wars quality to it. Is that maybe more accurate? Probably is. But it has a very animated show or movie quality. I, you know what I think it is? I think it's the use of the oboe. I think it's the use of that oboe. <laughs> oh. I really, yeah, I think that's all it is. Oh, that's a lot. Or I guess bassoon, not oboe. I'm sorry, not oboe, bassoon. A, a, a double reed instrument, that's all I can remember. It's been so long. <laughs> that. Okay, let's get him. There we go. All right, looks like we're nearing the end. We got a checkpoint and then another combat thing up ahead.
Okay, let's let our uh, MP. Is it MP? What do we call it? What 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 what, what, what do we call that? <gasps> oh, and here's a question. Uh, I, I and I kind of I kind of glossed over this in the first episode. How do I tell what my level is? Is there a level? There may not be a level. Is there like a gear level? I think they had that. I'm just trying to figure out for my spreadsheets, but it may not, it may not really be, they may not really have a thing that I can relate level to in this game, which is fine. I just won't create a category for it there, a column. Can I like lure them out before I go in there? Wait just a hot minute. Can I, can I please just make this smaller? I don't, actually this is what I really need. I would love to just permanently hide. I don't, I don't need this. Interface. I didn't see any there. Oh, wait, but there was a... Hold up. Hold up. There was a reset chat, reset party UI. No. Social? Uh-huh. Maybe. Font size is all the way down. Okay. It's all fine. It's good. Probably should have waited to to uh, interrupt with that, but it's okay. We got him. We got this. Oh, you pull me in, I push you back. That's the way you want to play. Oh, and he appears here with the... Oh. Thank you, Albion Online. Thank you for giving me a good, like, in-world reason to just leave and not make me go back through the whole thing. Bliss. Thank you. Uh, quick safe action. Several, several expeditions are available at each tier. There are daily rewards for finishing your first expedition each day. Expedition rewards are moderate compared to open world rewards. Okay. Uh, group and hardcore expeditions. You can register for group expeditions as a solo player. You will be automatically matched with others to form a group. Hardcore expeditions are for full groups of five and can be level one to 18. The higher the level, the harder the content. All right. Complete the combat, the basics. Tomes of Insight. You received a Tome of Insight. Tomes of Insight are old volumes written by past adventurers. Using these tomes adds fame to your equipment gear. Make sure to equip the gear you want to level before opening a tome. Oh. Now, usable items are activated by clicking the Use button. Dungeon maps reveal the entrance to a dungeon. Tomes of Insight to grant fame. These are just a few examples of usable items. How do I use them? Uh, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, okay, combat. The open world. So you want me to equip tier 3 journeyman's equipment. The real fame is in the open world. Let's see, where did I put that? Ah, here it is. Take this map. It will lead you to a dungeon. But first, you may want to get some better equipment. Come back once you've cleared out that dungeon. Wait. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. You're telling me I should get tier three equipment before going to the dungeon. Okay, well then let's do the Royal Crafter. Maybe we'll end up with better equipment through 
that. Uh, speak with Royal Crafter Redford in Highland Cross. Another adventurer who wants to learn about gathering and crafting. Wonderful. All right. Uh, I consider myself a master gatherer. I've gathered wood in the Forbidden Forest, harvested fiber in the Sleeping Swamps, mined stone and ore in the Ancient Mountains, um, and skinned the hides of countless beasts. If I had to give one piece of advice, focus your efforts. Pick one resource and stick to it. Okay, the origin of everything. Every weapon, piece of armor, and building was at one point a player-gathered resource. You can gather fiber, hide, stone, ore, and wood. To master gathering, focus on one or two resources that are found in the bi same bio. Okay, so I just need to head back. I just needed to talk to him. Oh. Oh, 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 I read that. Now I need to talk to Redford again. My bad, my bad. Uh, so if you decided what you want to do, aha, here we go. I want to gather ore. All right. So we got another things to do. We've got a beginner's pickaxe. So we need to get a novice pickaxe. So where... Uh, can I go here? Yeah. Toolmaker. Ah, over here. So what do I need for a novice pick? Go away. Novice pickaxe. Ah, I can craft it. Fantastic. Beginner's pickaxe, novice pickaxe. Oh wait, do I wait? How do I? Do I need to use it? Oh, very well. There was somewhere I could salvage. Go to any Highland Mountain or Step Zone. Okay. Uh, where was it? I went to salvage things. Here it is. So now we can salvage. That's what we want to salvage, right? Yes, beginner's pickaxe, salvage. Thank you. Okay, so. Let's head to... So there's Slime Hag, Brent Knoll, Mace Knoll. So any Highland, it said. These are Highlands. That is a swamp. Let's give our horsey a, a little hop on. More people. What do you do? Ready to cut stone? Stonemason, okay. Smelter? Oh, I can smelt some copper. No, I can't. Alright, <laughs> All right, acquire 80 copper ore. Acquire 40 tin ore. Whoa, I just got really fast. Tin ore has three crystals, making it as a, marking it as a tier three resource. Progressing in any gathering pack path. Unlocks better tools. A tool can gather resources up to one tier above its own. Gathering enchanted resources requires a tool of the same base tier as the resource. Okay. So you're wanting me to... Do I need to go to these places or is it... I guess. We'll see. No, that's taking me to a different place. Let's actually go out into the wilds. Oh, copper ore. Wait, is there more over there for me to get? No. Resource depleted. Okay. guy. I can still get logs while I'm out here. Why not? My 
might need some wood. Need some limestone, too, while we're at it. Ah, I need a stone hammer for that. Okay. Chestnut logs. It's possible that I'm passing by some and I don't realize it. Oh! I got a fight over here. Oh no, I killed the poor little whatever he was. Oh, I can get a hide scrap. That sounds good. Beaver? Are they beavers? I can't tell what they are. There's ten. I wonder if all these, like, adventuring things that I'm just seeing scattered around the ground are a part of something at some point. A quest, or I don't have... Oh, whoa. Like, I don't have... Maybe I don't have the ability to, like, analyze them or whatever. All right, how tough are you? Not too bad. Okay. Does he give me tin ore? He kind of looks like the tin. Actually, no, he looks more like the limestone or sandstone. Oh, I could mine him for sandstone. That's amazing. Bravo game. That's hilarious. What kind of tree is this? Just rough logs, okay. Did I finish that? Yeah. What's this? Heretic heretic food stash. This object does not do anything special. It looks nice, though. Okay. Got another poacher down here. Oh, missed that. Hello, Milton. Pretty game. Colors are nice. Hill, what was that called? Hill Marmot. Okay. Wanted to do that just to see what they were called. Lanky scavenger. Copper ore is done. I'm going to get a few more while they're right here, though.
We need 13 more tin ore. a bit tougher. Let's mount up and look for this tin. I can see why the circles are here now. <laughs> Showing me where all the tin ore is. I don't like how it's so easy to get stuck behind something. Like there's very minimal pathfinding. Ah, the number beneath your inventory icon shows how much of your carry capacity is being used. Okay. The more you go over hundred percent, the slower you will move. There are various ways to increase your carry capacity, bags, mounts, food, and passives on shoes can let you carry more. Okay. So, 79%. Oh, okay, I'm good. Let's do one more since it's right here. All right, it looks like there might be a river crossing up here. I like the map. It's it's very uh, it gives just the right amount of detail. Like I don't want to say it's not detailed, but it's very cute and fits the vibe of the game well. It's you know very hand very basic hand drawn. There we go. That's a good way to put it. It shows me elevation and it lightly shows me like I, I was able to figure out, oh, those little lighter patches in the water. Whoops. I'm kind of like looking at the map and not paying attention to where I'm going. No, no, no. This is right. This is the road. Uh, the lighter areas in the water are where the water is lowered or the their stone to cross over. Oh, that wasn't. That wasn't the right place. Hold the phone. I went to the wrong one. Oh, I cannot exit immediately after arriving? At what point can I? That's funny. Yeah, I went to the wrong exit. Can I now? There we go. Oh, I needed to go up here and go southwest. curious how much I can like outrun somebody. Okay, I did see in the options, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to name tags. I don't even, I don't even care about, yeah, just a lot of names all over the place in towns. I'm assuming I can still like hover over them, click on them. Yeah, I can click on them. Okay. So we've done everything for him. Now we need to go to the smelter and refine the bars. Okay. Is there a smelter in here? There we go. 
You received focus points. Focus is generated over time if you have premium status. Oh, that's right. Yeah, and I didn't, I didn't notice it last time, but it, it gave me a premium, like a, you know, like a, a temporary uh, trial period. Um, you can see your current focus and focus regeneration in your stats. Crafting transforms materials into items. Oh, what does focus do? Crafting transforms materials into items. Focus returns some of your invested materials. This lets you craft more with less. We're using focus is one of the main ways you can make one maze to make crafting a very profitable profession. Got it. Craft 80 copper bars, 20 bronze bars using focus. Okay. So wait, what am I doing for... Oh, so I don't need all 80. I actually just need 64. Can I manually type it in? Oh, I can, and it was right where I wanted it to be. That's amazing. And then we need one bronze bar. Oh, I can make a lot more. Let's go ahead and make 20. Why not? You can use... Okay, yeah, and I did the thing that it was wanting me to do with the focus. I love the graphic of the smoke. It's so cool. It's like little, just little sprites. All right, return. Uh, oh, the, da, 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 the, there's one more thing I can teach you. Of course, doing things is a great way to learn, but if you want to progress quickly, nothing beats studying. Practice makes the master. You can progress your crafting by creating the same item repeatedly. You can also study your crafted items. Oh, studying items grants a large amount of fame. How do I study? You can study your crafted items at any building where you crafted the item. This will consume the item, but will reward you with a great boost in fame. If you don't immediately need the silver, this is a great way to progress. Okay. So I can... Oh, he just wants me to talk to him now. There's not much silver in it, but progress is its own reward. Got it. Okay, return to the commander. Okay, so I won't... hold on. I want to see something. So if I go... Uh, who do I... Who, who, who... Who do I want to go to? Warrior Forge right here. So if I come over here, right? Oh, that's not. Down here. This is where I want so novice's broadsword right that's the next one i can make here uh oh i need more leather stiff leather Ooh, but can is there skinning i can do to what is this one in there we go that's what i need repair uh down here oh bless me so let's go to the skinner Tanner, whatever he's called. What Tanner. Stiff leather. I can make nine. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so now we can make a novice broadsword. Cool. We made one. And that's fine. So, let's just equip that, see what we get. So we do get some choices here. We do. I do want to try some different weapons and whatnot. Uh, so, uh, strike the targeted enemy, dealing 136 physical damage. Applies one heroic charge on you. Swing your sword in a 6 meter radius around you, dealing 106 physical damage. Applies heroic charges on you, based on the amount of enemies hit. Okay, I like that. I like the multi-enemies. Uh, spin in the targeted direction. Okay. I like that. Leap toward the targeted enemy, interrupting their spell casting. Okay. And then deep cuts. Every four normal attacks inflicts a bleed on the target. Nice. Okay. So, but let's say I go in, let's say I make a beginner broadsword, right? 
Because we want to test the studying thing. So here is... Oh, oh, here's... Oh, yes. Someone else commented that there was a place in here to make the armor. And I just didn't... I didn't notice the tabs. That's probably the only not obvious part of this game I've come across yet. Is the different tabs. So if I want to study this beginner broadsword... You would not learn anything from studying this item. Ah, okay. Well, uh, would I learn anything from studying this one? I would. I don't want to because I just made it. But I like the idea that there's salvaging and you can get materials back or there's uh, studying. That's pretty cool. Sweet. All right, well, let's go check back in with the commander before we go for today. If you learned something about gathering and refining, I did. Fantastic. Well, that's pretty cool. I am way more intrigued by this game than I expected to be. Uh, especially with the combination of it being on mobile. Not that that's a, not that that was a turnoff. That just gave me a certain vibe. But that that com that and the juxtaposition of the mobile game aspect and some of the comments I got on the first video really left me very confused about the game going into the second video, but now coming into the third, because of the great comments I got on the second video, thank you commenters, the game's making a whole lot more sense now, and I kind of get it. It's very unique. It's very unique, and I don't feel like it's been... I kind of don't feel like it's been advertised well, and I know it's been out. It's actually older than I thought it was. I made a comment in the first episode uh, talking about it's a newer MMO, and it is, relatively speaking, but this apparently came out in 2017. I, If you had asked me, I would have said 2020 at the earliest. Maybe 2019. Uh, I don't know. I feel like this may be some sort of untapped gem that's... I don't know. I don't know. I'm a little worried about all the talk about the PvP stuff that I've heard. Ignoring that, this could be a really good casual game to just fool around in on the side. Not quite the second monitor game that RuneScape is, but like I'm in an in-between. A main monitor game, but you're definitely paying attention to the office on the other monitor. <laughs> so that'll do it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow in Final Fantasy 14. Adios. Goodbye.